Hey friends, welcome to this week's Nature Notes. This week we're going to check and see how the ducks have been doing. Remember those little ducklings that I had a couple months ago? Well, I'm at Miss Kristen's house. Say hi, Miss Kristen. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That's my friend, Miss Kristen. And this is, this is the shed where um, she's been raising the ducks. So let's go see how they're doing. And then we're gonna get to see some run around a little bit. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh. They're, they're very, very scared. Um, and a lot of them, we moved some of them outside already so we, they could run around outside a little bit. But you can see that they have a heat lamp um, to heat because it's pretty cold out here. But um, but Miss Kristen read that they are able to regulate their body temperature at, what would you say, four weeks? Eight to nine weeks. Eight right to about nine weeks. now. Oh, right about now they, they're able to regulate their own body temperature, but she's going to keep the heat lamp on anyway because um, she's a nice duck mommy. And let's see, you can see here's their, here's their waterer, here's their feeder. And, oh my gosh, that one's escaping. Oh, All right, let's, we'll leave. Ah, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea, duck. All right, so we're going to leave so that it like on sticks itself. Very he's unstuck. He's <laughs> Sometimes, well, they're very scared. Um, all right, so now we're gonna go, Miss Kristen has a little fenced in garden area. So we're gonna go see it. We had, we let two ducks go already in it and then we're gonna let a few more out. All right, Miss Kristen, you can go first and, and, and let, the, let the duckies out. Um, So we put them in these we put them in these boxes so they could we could so we could move them uh, okay yeah i brought i brought them some treats i don't know if they'll like these treats but We would never, we would never catch them if they got away, ever. No. Oh my god! Oh my god! still going. They're trying to get out of the fence. They they they're very very scared of us. So they're they didn't they didn't really get used to people. Um, maybe if I go sit over here and stay still for a while, they'll calm down a little bit. What kind of, what kind are they again, Miss Kristen? Khaki Campbells. Khaki Campbells is the kind of duck they are, and they were bred in originally in England and they are right now they're about their full size which is four to four and a half pounds and they can lay up to 300 eggs a year so um i guess that's why people have these ducks they're um for the same reason people have chickens is for the eggs except for duck eggs are usually a lot bigger than um chicken eggs so um they are not leaving this corner spot they're, they're terrified of us <laughs> They really seemed more comfortable when we were outside of the fence. Yeah. 
their wings are not full their their flight feathers their wing feathers are not fully grown in yet but they're starting to come in you can see So again, they're called Khaki Campbells. They're calming down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave out of the fence here. I think they're gonna be too. I think they're way too scared to uh, eat this. So I'll move out and put this here. Well, let's see. I guess I better put this down. I think that's all I have for today, friends. Um, except for we might go see the pond where Miss Kristen's. Uh, has one duck living. Oh, you have food for them. Yeah, this is their regular food. Oh, this is their regular food. Duck food. Maybe it's, <laughs> it might be chick food. <laughs> might be chicken food. I was gonna get, I was gonna leave out of here. Do you want me to do, put that in here? Uh, or do you, or can you do it from there? Yeah, I'll just dump it. Maybe I'll dump it. Okay. Okay, let's see what they do. and poured the food over there but well, they're starting to kind of think about thinking about moving over there let me get out of here miss kristen can you let me out please <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you oh I, man they might be moving over to the food maybe not They're just huddling together for safety. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go take a look at the pond real quick so we can see where they might get a chance to swim when they get older. And there's one mallard living in there now. Is that right? Okay. And there's a lot of wildlife around here. This Kristen has owls. What else? What other wildlife do you have around here? We have lots of deer. Deer. Owls almost every night, and there is a great blue heron who's here most days, <laughs> and squirrels and songbirds. But that's about it for the big for the big guys. I have a great video with there's the mallards. Oh, I have a great video with about eight deer from last week. Ooh, and you probably have like turtles and frogs and stuff yeah, that live in the pond. Yeah. I think they're gone for winter. They're they're probably down in the mud. Warm. Yeah. Yeah, the so there's yeah, there's turtles and frogs I'm sure that love this pond, but they're hibernating right now. There's the mallard, I don't know if you can see him. Let's see. I don't know if you could see him because he's kind of far away, but um, that's a 
male mallard or a um, a daddy mallard and the uh, male mallards are called drakes and the females are called hens. Oh, he just went hiding in some um, tangles, tangled briars. Um, so he is um, probably a duck that Miss Kristen raised a while ago. Um, and there were um, five others that stopped by the pond for a day a few weeks ago, but then they just kept flying on, probably migrating somewhere. All right, friends, I think that's all I have for now. Um, I'll see you next time for Nature Notes. Bye.